Hello everyone, welcome back again to my YouTube channel. I am Donita, your P9 teacher in Norway. In today's video, I will show you the Frogner Park. It is a park that has 200 and more statues made by Gustav Vigeland here in Oslo, Norway. Frogner Park is the world's largest sculpture park made by a single artist, Vigeland. So what we are waiting for, let's start our tour. Progner Park or the Vigeland Park is the largest park in the city of Norway and covers 45 hectares. It is also the most popular tourist attraction in Norway with between 1 and 2 million visitors each year and it's open to the public at all times. The bridge was the first part of the park with line of 58 sculptures and connect the main gate to the fountain. It includes one of the most popular statue, the Angry Boy. The Frogner Park was dubbed the weirdest statues in the world by the Daily Mail. It includes everything from a woman embracing a giant lizard to a naked man fighting flying babies and everything in between. All I can say that this park has the very bizarre weird statues here in the world. The Vigeland installations consist of 212 sculptures made from bronze and granite spread over on 850 meter axis from the entrance to the park's centerpiece. The Frogner Park was built between 1939 and 1949, but unfortunately, the artist Gustav Vigeland did not live to see the park's completion. He died in 1943. Walking to the Garden of Roses, you will just walk straight to the center of the park, and that is the Vigeland Fountain or Vigeland Fontänen in Norwegian language. So the fountain became the center of the sculpture exhibition in the open air on which Vigeland worked until the end of his life. As you will see on the centerpiece of the fountain, there are six men who are holding the bowl of the fountain on their shoulders. According to the author's idea, it symbolizes the burden of life. Twenty bronze trees entwine human figures and represents all the stages of human life. First is beginning of life, birth and infancy, teenage period, juvenility, dreams and flight of imagination, 
relationship between a man and a woman or the creation of a family, maternity, wisdom of middle age, continuity of generations, transfers of life experience to grandchildren, senile infirmity and death. Visiting this wonderful and very creative park is giving me the realization in life that we only live once and we must take good care of those people who are around us, especially our family. A single act of humanity is very important with every people in the world. And after passing through the fountain, in the highest point of Frogner Park lies the park's most popular attraction. The monolith, from the word mono, which means one, and from the word lith, which means a solid piece of stone. The construction of this massive monument began in 1924 when the sculptor Gustav Vigeland himself modeled it out of a clay in his studio. Transferring of the figures began in 1929 and took three stone carvers in 14 years to accomplish. The shed was demolished in late in 1944. The monolith towers stands in 14.12 meters high and is composed of 121 human figures rising towards the sky. There is a total of 36 figure groups reside on the elevation, bringing with them the circle of life message. So this is how it looks on the highest point in Frogner Park. Gustav Vigeland is very talented and a great sculpturist to made all of these statues. I cannot name every statue here but I have the list of them and I will put the link below for you to see it. Thank you for watching and see you on my next video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates. Bye!